This video, shot in 2014, shows an act of civil disobedience. Lujain al Hadlul is behind the wheel, attempting to cross into Saudi Arabia, which at the time was the last country on earth to prohibit women from driving. In 2018, that changed. Women can now drive. Okay. It's our right, finally. We're talking. Some have even started racing in rallies out in the country's sprawling deserts. All thanks, in part, to Lujain. But at the time, Lujain herself could not celebrate. Weeks before the driving ban was lifted, she was arrested in the United Arab Emirates, flown to the Saudi capital of Riyadh, and jailed for her activism. She spent more than a thousand days in prison, where she says she faced violence, torture, and threats against her life. Her family, including her youngest sister, Lena, fought tirelessly for Lujain's release. My sister was imprisoned, and at the very beginning, of course, we did really not know what to do, how to act. MBS was doing all these tours in the world. He was applauded. After a couple of months, when we found out that my sister was actually being tortured and that she almost died uh, during torture, that's when we realized that Silence is not an option. Uh, we have to be Lujain's voice. Lujain was released from prison on probation in 2021, but rights groups say she is far from free. Lena, who has not seen her sister since 2017, just released a children's book based on Lujain's story. We had this idea of uh, you know, bringing Lujain's um, fight of driving in an analogy, in a magical way, Jane, a little girl who lives in a, in a world where only boys are allowed to wear their wings and fly to a col colorful world. Um, and this is exactly Jane's story. And so I really want kids to really know that, you know, when they feel that there is injustice, they can say it out loud and they can win it, basically. U.S. President Joe Biden's recent trip to the kingdom has angered human rights advocates, including those at Dawn, a nonprofit founded by Jamal Khashoggi shortly before his gruesome murder in 2018. The group's executive director, Sarah Leah Whitson, says MBS's tight grip on power has led to unprecedented levels of political repression. The important message that Lujain's arrest sent was that you subjects in this country are not allowed to tell me what you want or what you want me to do. I decide, I am an absolute monarch you are not allowed to have an opinion about what I should and shouldn't do. For G Zero World, I'm Alex Clement.